and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I didn't find anything needed in correcting or. Uh, anybody else got something? I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. I'll second. Did you take your vote? Yes. Mike? Yes. John? Yes. John? Sure. <laughs> Well, the first thing I thought I'd mention, we had a uh, barn fire last night down at Bill Timmons' on Monroe. Uh, most of you probably know, he milks about 200 cows, and it was just milking power, power under a cop fire. Um, came in about 8.15, and we had approximately 12 compartments mutually. Blue water, we <coughs> had a truck there. Um, knocked on the fire, saved the majority of the structure, and uh, got out of there about 1.30. Uh, thinking he's going to be milking this afternoon if everything goes like he's planning on. But it was a uh, good fire in the fact that uh, we didn't lose any animals and nobody got hurt. I thought I'd bring up to speed on that. Thank that. you. Also, uh, our clam bake's coming up. We moved the date of our annual clam bake. Um, I can't remember when. We didn't have it the last week of August. But... Um, one of our members, Nick Tomaselli, he was the gentleman that proposed to his girlfriend down in Boston Town in front of our engine. Um, had a little bit of a hardship. Is the best man and uh, Brian, the best woman, are both in the military, and the only time they could get off was the date that we always had the plan. And, of course, a lot of the firemen wanted to go to the wedding, so we moved the date to September 7th. And I brought flyers for you up here. <coughs> <coughs> Same pricing as last year. Actually, we've held the price over the last couple of years. Um, and also a reminder for the fire doubles about the July 4th parade coming up. Um, the county does plan on having the road opened up again, so we should be okay. And that's it for my report. PG. Uh, very little to report tonight. Uh, took a phone call from a out with her family buried down here at Shady Side, and she was concerned with uh, a little, getting a little close to the monuments with some of the riding mowers. And we did have two, three stones that were moved. The guys got right on it and straightened back up, and we got a hold of our landscaper and told them to make use of some weed eaters again instead of trying to cut the corner. So, uh, so if anybody notices that in the cemetery, please let us know right away because. Uh, that happens early, you can fix them pretty quickly. If you start leaning, you got problems. So, so. That's it. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple things. Uh, I went up and checked the uh, ground line and the power at the uh, uh, museum, and that, that seems to be solid. Uh, I'm going to go inside and take some voltage measurements there so you can track it down. And uh, it's going to get some extra keys for the museum. Um, so I want to get one for me and have one for here. PJ's got one. I left one marked on the desk. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then we can get, get one for the Knox box. So okay. she worked over okay. I mean, We'll just give one to the chief for the Knox box. And you can decide which would be the most. Yeah, we're going to put it down in the hall yeah, box. Okay. There's no point in buying the Knox box for that location. Right. And uh, a couple of repair or repairs are needed at the, uh, the garage doors at the fire department. And there are two sections, uh, two bottom sections, which are 12 foot 2 by 24. Uh, I find it's number 710 white. Uh, there's two of those at $295 each for $590. And uh, replace an intermediate section, 12 2 by 24 white. Uh, that's two hundred and sixty dollars for a total of eight hundred and fifty dollars. That's a quote from Giaga Door. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the repairs and, and take that out of the building fund for the fire department the repair fund. Okay. okay. I'll second that. That was a motion. 
You're both teaching? Yes. And Mike? Yes. John? Yes. That's all I have. Okay, I have warrants number 1028 through 1056 for a total of $56,708.81 to sign up on a wall. Um, and I would, oh, I had never appropriated because I thought it would be gone, but it, it isn't gone. So I would like to, I did uh, revise the appropriations to reflect the only difference from what's been previously filed is $263 in that Auburn Park capital money still sits there. So um, I just need to let Bev know. It doesn't have to go before the board or anything. I just have to let her know. But if we actually have to pass a new um, revised annual appropriation, I need like a motion and a second. And then, and as I say, the only change is asking for that money to be appropriated so that we can spend it. Which won't be hard to do. I can spend it on straw or grass or whatever. Okay. I'll make a motion. Okay. Second. And PJ, your vote? Yes. Mike? Yes. Jen? Yes. And then um, we are needing a blanket certificate open for 4901, which is the fund um, that we will, can then use to pay for some more improvements at the park. And I opened a 610 object code uh, so that we could distinguish what was going to the park versus what was going anyplace else. And. Um, I, I'm just picking fifteen thousand dollars. Do you think that it, I, there's more than that? I, yeah. No, there's more money, but whatever you think the immediate expenses might be. Do you have any immediate expenses? So between now and that, you know, trying to get seed planted, I can't imagine we're going to go beyond fifteen. But if there's going to be more, obviously, if there's going to be more things done up there. Should we just make it twenty and hope it's a little bit more of a cushion, or twenty? So moved. Any motion PJ? for that? Yeah. I'll second. Can you vote, PJ? Yes. Mike? Yes. Janet? Yes. Um, okay, I have this came from the bank, and it's, this is from Middlefield, and it's just, you know, the contract you have to have when they have government money. And it just needs you guys to sign it. And that goes back to them. I guess I keep it happy. Hey, Susan, while your spotlight's on you, <coughs> just, I see where, uh, for the, this is fire department, uh, USDA loan. Yes. And they're taking it out of our Huntington account. Are we switching that over to Middlefield as well? Yeah, I did already. Sure. What, what are you looking at? This is uh, payment automatically with withdrawn oh, from yeah, no, I just Huntington National Bank account member. Yeah, no, I sent him a letter and told him that it won't be there anymore. <laughs> okay. Gave him the right. fresh route. I guess I didn't copy. Okay, I got a quote from, from just a little bit of work from Sheffield. Um, Ray Bartholomew is going to be buried up like at the top part of Maple Shade, and um, a limb had fallen and knocked over some old. Uh, didn't seem to break anything, but it knocked him over. So this is a quote for $1,470 to repair five headstones. Um, and I had given you guys copies in the back of your socks, but with your permission, I'll open a purchase order. And yeah, well, we talked about that at the beginning. Yeah. We did budget, so I'll make a motion to approve that. That's right. PJ, your vote? Oh, yes. <coughs> Mike? Yes. And Jenna? Yes. Okay, the road levy is, I mean, we need to do three things prior to taking it to the Board of Elections, and this is the third thing, 
and um, we already did the certificate of need. So we have to pass that, and I did request a certificate of estimated property tax revenues from the auditor, and I got that. So we will take I will take these three documents to the board of elections. And in fact, I can take them tomorrow okay. because I'm going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You guys have to, well, you know what, you actually don't have to sign it, we just need the motion. Okay. Uh, let's make a motion to approve the resolution declaring it necessary to levy a tax in excess of the 10 mil limitation. Board of Trustees of Auburn Township, Chuck County, Ohio, met in regular session on the 17th day of June 2013 at the Office of the Physical Officer. Following members present, John Everly, Mike Troyan, Patrick Cavanaugh, uh, John Everly, moved the adoption of the following resolution, whereas the amount of taxes which may be raised within the 10 mil limitation will be insu insufficient to provide an adequate amount for the re necessary requirements of said uh, Auburn Township, uh, County. Uh, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Trustees of Auburn Township, Jogger County, and two thirds of all members elected there to concurring that it is necessary to levy a tax in excess of the 10 mil limitation for the benefit of Auburn Township, for the purpose of the general construction, reconstruction, repair, and resurfacing of streets, roads, and bridges in the Township of Auburn, pursuant to ORC 5705-19G, at a rate not exceeding one mil for each dollar of valuation, which amounts to 10 cents for each hundred dollars of valuation for a renewal one mil road levy for five years. Uh, resolved that the question of levy and additional taxes be submitted to the electors of said Arbor Township at the general election to be held at the usual voting places within said Arbor Township on the fifth day of November 2013 and be it further resolved that the levy be placed upon the tax list of the current year after the February settlement next succeeding the election if the majority of the electors voting thereon in favor of and it be further <laughs> resolved that the clerk of this board of trustees be and he is limited or is hereby directed to certify a copy of this resolution to the board of electrician electricians electricians <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking of you, Mike. Chicago <laughs> County. We get a little uh, union money toward the project. And <laughs> notify said Board of Elections to cost notice of election on the question of levying said tax to be given as required by law. Uh, Mr. Troyan seconded the motion and roll call being. And the roll call is uh, PJ, your vote? I wasn't listening. Want to read it again? <laughs> is that a one mil renewal, correct? It's a one mil renewal. No, both yes. Mike? Absolutely. And, and done. Yes. Adapted the 17th day of June 2013. The only other things coming up, the tax budget, um, the public hearing will be set for July 1st at 7.15. Uh, we'll probably adopt it at the following meeting following that. That will give us time to make any whatever's adjustments. And um, I'm still working on that uh, mapping, talking to us some more. For the cemetery, you know, mapping. Maybe yeah, we should awful. try to get him to come to a, a Yeah, and he or can do that. I did talk to him briefly with today. I'm get so a, busy. I hear, you know, get an idea on what the mapping part's going to be. And he says it's really confusing. Well, <laughs> he <that's> acknowledges. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, final thing, which is probably on the agenda anyhow, mm -hmm. is this. Um, all the signings. Right, well, we do have that, but we could just tackle that while we're here. Okay. And that's my this is the Route 44 property sale, and we have some documents to sign so we can close this thing. And uh, this one here is. This is the new one that yeah. just came today. Assignment of. Uh, we already have a contract that is included in here. We'll have 
this uh, right, no signed a purchase that. agreement for the replacement uh, for replacement property. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first we'll make a motion to do it first agreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there and represent us. So uh, I'm making a motion to appoint uh, Susan Klafkin to represent the board in the transaction for the Route 44 property. Second. Thank you, Susan. Mm -hmm. guys talking to do this mapping and stuff, Susan. Do you know yeah. yeah, he, um, you know, let me go get, I didn't understand, I, let me grab a copy of it. I didn't understand some of what he was quoting. <laughs> didn't know what it meant. Up, it's like in the eight to nine thousand dollar range, which seems like a lot of money. But you know, and I said, all we want to be able to do maps. Yeah, <laughs> we idea, don't need to reinvent. Yeah, yeah. But, will it? Will this be a complete conversion to their database and everything, or will? Yeah, it they, they will database? export my Excel into their system. 
and you need a powerful computer, so we might have to design another computer. Yeah. So I, I looked at it, and I just kind of had questions. I said, well, is there anything we could leave out, like if we don't need to be online? Why don't we try to get somebody to come up here, you know, sometime here? Dog and pony on it, yeah, do the that. next I couple meetings, go over it, and we'll see what's involved in it, and then, uh, you know, whether or not we want to go out, and I'm sure there's several people on This guy is from down in Centerville. Mm -hmm. But they're all over yeah. the place. Are they working up here? They, they do work all over, and you can get online and kind of see other accounts and stuff. So anywhere in the county? We, um, Yo, yeah, I mean, I think they go all over the country. Well, I mean, the, uh, they have a client up there in the county yet? Yeah, I think Chagrin Falls. And, well, there are, yeah, plenty of Aurora. I mean, yeah, there are plenty of people up in this area that use it. But really, I have not, um, you know, I've talked back and forth with them. I sent them our database. I sent them our map. Because what they have to determine is how many of such as they have. They have to determine how much free space there is. And we, our, our big upgrade, we went from paper to mile our, what, 10, 12 years ago with our cemetery map. That's, there was some talk. I remember uh, Jeanette Grovner coming in here at one point. Yeah, that's, we, that's before I was Yeah, here, so that's yeah, yeah that was a while ago. Uh, for a countywide mapping system, I don't know that anything ever... She's... Well, uh, She's an expert in such things, and uh, uh, I believe she's from Clare Township. Yeah, yeah, like I said, this goes back this quite a while ago. So you may want to contact uh, Sexton and Chagrin Falls and just yeah, ask them see if they can hook you up. You know, is it worth it? Is it yeah. everything you expected? I will do more of that. I, um, I kept trying to get a price from them. You know, and they kept asking me more questions and more questions, and, you know, I'm running around trying to answer everything, and, you know, I finally said, you know, like, either, you know, if you guys are way out of the ballpark, we're wasting everybody's time, yeah. so it's not like we have, you know, 20 burials a day or so, so we'll, we'll continue to plug away at it. Uh, a couple things here, uh, from the road department, we, uh, we you know, we have uh, mentioned here at the last uh, last fall that we're going to do some upgrading of the guardrails uh, over in Valley Road, and we did uh, strike a deal with the county to get some new guardrail. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, uh, except for they put new up sometimes when they do a project. So we did receive a couple hundred feet of guardrail, and so now the next step, well, we're going to need more than that, but... Uh, we do have it in our possession, and uh, we're going to continue on with that project of trying to, you know, do this replacement. It'll be over a several-year process to do all this. We'll have to get some uprights, and then we'll have to have a study made to determine what end of the, the proper end for the guardrail will be. And so we'll do that. Uh, PS Construction, who uh, got the crack seal... Uh, contract. They have started crack sealing. They were over in uh, uh, off of Bartholomew, I guess. And uh, the report was is they looked up and there was a black bear running across the road, which got all their attention. So uh, <laughs> got a little Why excited to uh, crew did. So he, yeah, he just moved going on his way. Uh, asphalt patching uh, for the chip seals. We got a, by the end of uh, this week, we should be completely uh, caught up to uh, on all the chip roads so that we can get the chipping done uh, at the end of July. We like to leave 30 days at least from any of the patch installations to the chipping. And uh, so, uh, we're doing real well with that. Um, we uh, had a couple, a little overtime last night to come up and help the fire department 
uh, direct traffic. Uh, we had two people up there from 9.30 to 1 o'clock this morning. They did a great job. Thank you very much. The sheriff's office got kind of laid up laid with other calls, so um, if they weren't able to come up, we would have had to try to tackle it ourselves. Yeah. Just take manpower away from what we really need to be doing. So much appreciated. They did a great job. Uh, a little bit of a park update. We do have five acres of grass growing in the park. And uh, that's a great thing. Of course, we you know what that means. Well, <laughs> it's been a struggle. It's a good five acres. We also will have uh, another acre and a half in the thing of Friday. So I think we need to start considering uh, what we're going to do with all of this. Uh, she brought another question. She started, uh, yes. We're looking for a more uh, uniform cut. I'm thinking here probably, you know, in the next two or three weeks. It's raining and we may have to do some more. So sometime here in July, and we do have a road and motor on the airport, but it's, uh, it's really not that kind of grass. You know, we're trying to do that for a So Can someone really want from this? We do have one item that's not a mower that's a user mower, but it's only got 10 miles on it. It's a 61 inch cut.
should it be too dark? Yes. 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 Yes.